Hello, I'm James Gray and I'm the CEO of Raytheon UK RTX. I'm really proud to work for RTX. It's a company of innovators and future thinkers and you can see that all around us here today on this stand. RTX has been in the UK for a hundred years and we're made up of Pratt & Whitney, Collins and Raytheon. We have 30 sites across the UK from Northern Ireland through Scotland to the Southeast and the Southwest. We have services from electronics manufacturing to the civil aerospace and military aircraft integration to cyber and training. RTX isn't just invested in technology, we're invested in the local communities in which we work. And we're really proud of the volunteering and the charities that we support in that process. We're also invested in STEM, and we've had an outreach program to schools, which is in its 10th year, where thousands of children have been through our quadcopter challenge to understand the things that we do here and get a sense and feeling for the defense uh, and aerospace industries in which we work. We believe that the learning never really stops. And so whether that's from our graduate development programs, which get about 2000 applicants for 20 spaces a year, to the professional uh, qualifications that we offer once people join us, there's a whole program for skills, training and development here at RTX. And we're really proud of that process. We can never stand still on innovation. And you know, one of the things that you'll see across this show here today is technology in action. But to give you a couple of specifics, we've invested heavily in our weapons integration program and bringing a digital twinning process to that qualification. That means that we recreate our systems in the digital world and do all of our simulation and our integration and qualification there first, and it massively increases the speed at which we can bring new products to market. I think you've heard over the course of the last few days through the defense industrial strategy, the importance that the government is placing on skills, and that couldn't be more relevant to our organization. And so we're really proud of the support we can bring across the UK, not just in the Southeast, for the agenda that the government has set out through that strategy.